So you want to take a Blender model and make it into voxel art because you can't be bothered and with good reason, I might add, to add every single voxel by hand. Well, that's actually surprisingly easy. So um, let's mop up a real quick, um, what should we do? Let's, let's take a really cool mini-match real quick, right? So we add a sphere, we add in a cylinder, we make it smaller, we turn it on 90 degrees, we make it a little smaller again, we put it on this side of the head, we add in a mirror modifier, we mirror over this object, um, let's add in a, uh, we light up actually, um, we add in a, let's do a comb. None of this, by the way, is in any way, shape or form relevant to the voxel art bit that we're going to be doing, but we need something to turn into voxel art. So once you've got your model, and hopefully it's slightly less cursed than the Mickey Mouse I have here, you go over to the modifier stack and you add a remesh modifier. Then you choose blocks, and well this is a good start if this is what you want this actually works out relatively well and luckily for me this actually looks already a lot less cursed so that's way way improved but if you want your voxels to be a little bit smaller because these are quite chunky blocks right you can play around with the scale a little bit but more importantly the octree depth so if we turn that to like seven for instance we get very fine little voxels it also sometimes messes up with uh, very sharp points and very small details it just gets rid of those because it, it can't make voxels out of them for that you have this threshold so if we put that down you can see now we have the nose also being voxelized and then you can fine-tune this a little bit with scale uh, should you want to and that's literally all you need to do to turn literally anything inside blender into voxel art so to give you a couple of uh other quick examples over here we have my main character from my platforming game with a remesh modifier just like that it's a voxel boy now, this wouldn't work all that well animating it, uh, because the voxels will get stretched and won't be actual cubes anymore. Uh, there will be a video soon all about voxel art and animating uh, the voxels and, and stuff like that. Uh, so, do be aware that this is mostly just for modeling purposes. If you want to animate things with voxels, things get a little bit more tricky and you need to pay attention to a lot of things during the modeling. Uh, but the same here, right? This is a model that you've probably seen in a couple of, of my other tutorials. Uh, literally, it's as easy as one modifier, and it's a voxel mesh. So when you apply that, you can then like make a UV map based on this and do different materials, different colors, whatever. I would still highly recommend, for the purposes of making voxel art, to learn software directly meant to make voxel art. I will leave a link down below in the description to Magicka Voxel. It's a very nice free piece of software that's specifically meant for you to make voxel art. It should also work for pixel art, but I guess if you're watching a voxel art video, you're more into 3D stuff. So uh, I would highly recommend doing that, but if you don't want to do that, there is an option inside Blender to just make things look like voxels, and it's freaking fantastic.